Good afternoon, graduates, distinguished faculty, incredible staff, and loving friends and family. I am Sairamia, and I will graduate with my doctorate in public health alongside many wonderful people. DRPH! <laughs> I stand here a product of the centuries of women who have fought sacrificed and dreamed for me. As was common in some rural villages at the time, my paternal grandmother, my Nainama, was 12 years old when she was married off. My maternal grandmother, my Amma, was 15. And my mother, my Amma, was 17. All stopped their education when they were married to instead support their family through their labor as mothers, caregivers, chefs, family historians, scrappy entrepreneurs, and event coordinators. Because of their devotion to their family and their people, I know I have opportunities. They didn't. So standing here, receiving my doctoral degree from Berkeley, I feel in my bones that low, gentle, persistent hum of life that sustained them turn into a raucous call to celebration. So my first invitation is to celebrate with me as I celebrate with you. I applaud your hard work, your diligence, your tenacity. I celebrate your mentors, the tireless ad ad advocates who carved resources for you, the teachers who took the extra moment to troubleshoot with you, and the staff who cleared your pathways. And I celebrate your loved ones who supported you emotionally, physically, and spiritually. I applaud your lineage, the ancestors of blood and spirit who dreamed us into existence and who wait with loving gazes to see what we will make of our opportunities. And amidst the celebration, I have a second invitation to you, one as equally as important as the first, and that is the invitation to grieve with me. My doctoral journey began in 2020 with a global pandemic that took over 7 million lives, a statistic that is still growing. And through the last four years, we collectively and individually have been in a long and tiring season of grief. We have seen a truly excessive amount of death. I will admit that at times, it was easier, easier to dull the pain of loss to push away the weight of my social and moral responsibility than to carry the grief with me. That is the temptation of grief, to numb instead of feel. I was pushed to the furthest, extre uh, furthest extremes of numbing my grief when in 2022, I suddenly and unexpectedly lost my amma, my mom. Grief is hard, Berkeley friends. Grief is crushing illuminating, overwhelming, and utterly unpredictable. And in this valley of personal and collective grief, I have learned that there is no way to push grief away and stay connected to our humanity. Because when we push grief away, we surrender our compassion toward ourselves and our fellow people. So let's allow grief to break our hearts. Let, let's allow us allow it to change us, affect us, connect us. I know that my work now is to reach back to the generations who have come before me, to my amma, who I wish was here with me, and to face the work of public health with as much courage and compassion as possible. Because public health is a field that is defined by grief. We study the burden of disease. We study morbidity and mortality. We study the prevention of pain and suffering. Our field's temptation to numb our collective grief manifests through our push for more complex models, program evaluations, and rigorous research. Those are not bad things. In fact, those are necessary. But let us always marry them to courage, compassion, and radical empathy, because that is what our world needs. That is what our field needs. COVID-19 was and is a public health issue. The fentanyl crisis is a public health issue. Mass incarceration is a public health issue. Racism is a public health issue. 
War, occupation, and yes, genocide is a public health issue. We can only, we can only address them when we bring our whole selves with our knowledge, our courage, and yes, our grief. So Berkeley friends, give your soul space to feel, to take it all in, and let's move our field forward with radical compassion and courage. I'll leave you with the words of activist Grace Lee Boggs, the only way to survive is by taking care of one another. Thank you and congratulations.